Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your own LAMP stack, okay, on your Ubuntu server. And if you don't know what LAMP is, it stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And it's a great stack to build PHP applications on. Alright, so you could use something like XAMPP or WAMP server and get all that stuff installed right on your local machine. But if you want to step it up a notch and you want to actually create your own server, it's not that hard at all. Alright, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to update okay we're going to say sudo apt-get update going to put in your password and we're just going to update everything all right once that's done we're going to install apache okay so we'll say sudo apt-get install apache 2 okay we're going to say yes All right, so that's all set. Now just to check it out, I'm gonna open up Firefox. Okay, and we're going to go to uh, local host. And there we go, we have an Apache 2 default page. Now we can also access this anywhere on our network. Okay, so I'll go to a Windows machine on the same network, open up a browser, and I'm going to go to the IP address of that machine. This will be different in your case. And there it is. All right, so it's running over the network. So let's go back into Ubuntu and we're going to continue. Now let's go ahead and install PHP. So we'll say uh, sudo apt-get install PHP5. Say yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart Apache, and we can do that with uh, sudo uh, sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash Apache two restart. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll test PHP out. Okay, so let's do. Um, sudo I'm gonna use nano as my text editor feel free to use whatever you'd like and we want to go to var uh, slash www slash HTML and then whatever we want to call this file let's say test dot PHP all right and then in here all I'm gonna do is say uh, PHP echo it works Okay, and then we'll do a control X yes save it okay so now let's go to localhost slash test dot PHP and we get it works so we know that it's parsing PHP so now we want to move on to MySQL so we're gonna say sudo apt get install MySQL dash server and I think that's yeah, that should do it. Okay, we'll say yes. All right, so now it's asking us for a root password. Okay, we want to create the root password. Okay, and then we got to repeat it. Now to check this out, let's say, uh, we're gonna say MySQL U root P, okay, just like that. It's gonna ask us for our root password, what we just created. All right, and now we're in MySQL. So we could do something like create database test DB. Okay, uh, whoops, we gotta end that with a semicolon. to get out of that okay there we go okay we could say show databases I keep forgetting that semicolon okay so now you can see we have our test DB right there so MySQL is working 
let's get out of that control C and last thing I want to do is install PHP my admin okay so we'll say sudo uh, sudo apt get install PHP my admin It's going to ask what type of server we have. Apache 2 is set by default. That's what we want. Okay, now this configuration right here, we're going to just choose yes. And then you want to input a password for PHP My Admin. And then you want to provide your root MySQL password. All right, so that should be all set. Now, if we try to go to it, let's say localhost PHP my admin, we get a not found. OK, so we have to actually edit a file. All right, so we have to edit the PHP any file that's located um, in the Apache 2 folder. So let's say sudo nano and we want to go to etc slash PHP 5 slash Apache 2 slash PHP dot any. All right. Now we need to uncomment an extension. So let me just see if I can find it. I'm just doing a page down. It probably would have been easier to use some kind of uh, text editor, G edit or something. right here okay so you can see right here we have this extension equals mysql dot so we just want to remove this semicolon right here okay and then we can just control x to save yes all right so now we want to restart apache so sudo etc slash init dot d slash apache to restart Okay, so now let's go back here and reload. And it's still not working. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what, what it is. We need to add a line in the Apache config file. All right, so let's do sudo nano etc slash Apache 2 slash, oops, Apache 2 slash apache2.conf all right and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom all right and we're going to sorry about that i haven't i haven't done this in a long time include etc slash php my admin uh, slash apache.conf all right and that yeah that should do it so let's uh Control X and we, yes, we want to save and we'll restart Apache and hopefully it works. There we go. Awesome. All right, so username is going to be root and then the password you chose. And there we go. Okay, so we can easily create a database. You can see the one we did create called TestDB. And that's it. All right, and we should be able to access this from anywhere on our network. So if we go to 10, well, for me, it's 10.0.0.7.9, but it's going to be whatever IP address your Ubuntu installation is on. Uh, but I should be able to go to PHP, my admin. All right, so now we have a web server up and running. If I go to slash uh, test.php, we get that it works. Okay, so that's how you can set up a LAMP stack. Pretty easy. Uh, it's not as daunting as it may seem. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you can subscribe, like, that'd be great. And I'll see you next time.